everyone. So today I'm doing an empties video. I haven't done this in a little while, but I thought it was about time. So I think I've got about 50 or maybe even a few more than 50 items here today. It's like literally stormy outside, so I'm sorry. I say that in every video I know. Our weather is so trash. Anyway, behind me I have heaps of empties. I've even got more on my lap right now. So we're going to get started. I'm sitting on this angle too because the lighting was a bit better and now it's not... We're just gonna have to roll with it, okay? So I'm gonna start out with fake tan. So I've got a bunch here. First off, I'll start with the tan I'm wearing right now, even though it's kind of wearing off, but I'm wearing the um, Deluxe Bronzing Mousse by Loving It Tan. Ultra dark, so I've got one of those. Oh, another one. And they're two hour delights. I actually love the two hour delights. I think that's probably my favorite one by Loving Tan because I feel like it gets darker and I just love how it's only two hours so you can like rinse it off sooner if you want to as well. It's quite handy. But I love all of these. You guys know I've used Loving Tan for years and I still love it. I just started branching out into other brands as well. But yeah, I definitely love this stuff. I think it's really good. I'll link some of my favorite stuff from this video down below as well. Would I repurchase it? Yes, of course. But I actually have like a million in my drawers. So luckily I don't need to. Next up we have a couple of Bondi Sands Aero Tans. I feel like I actually used up more Bondi Sands than this but this always happens in my empties like sometimes I just forget to like put my empties aside and I just chuck them in the bin by like reflex. But anyways here's two that I have here. I've definitely used more. We have the Aero, just a regular Aero self tanning foam and then we've also got the ultra dark and i love both of them the ultra dark is definitely like ultra dark they smell like coconut they come out like hair mousse and i like these the bottles are 200 gram whereas the loving tan are 120 mils so you do get more in the bondi sands i think it's a cheaper price point i definitely think it's really good the color compared to loving tan is much more like goldeny like yellowy whereas I reckon loving tans a bit more olive do you guys agree any of you guys have tried both so it kind of just depends on my mood depends what kind of color I want to go that day I definitely like loving tan I've used that a lot and I also have here their tan eraser which is super handy oh my god this lighting the lighting was so perfect right before I started filming this always happens to me I swear to god like what did I ever do in my life to deserve this kind of treatment anyways um so this is a clear foam you just put it all over your body. I leave it there for like 5-10 minutes and then hop in the shower, scrub it off with a little flannel, you know, face cloth, whatever you want to call it. Flannel is such a nasty word, I swear. Yeah, and it removes your fake tan really, really well. I don't use it every time I remove my fake tan. Sometimes I just kind of like scrub it off or let it wear off naturally and then just layer it on. But if I really want a clean, fresh canvas and I want to remove like everything this is what I use it's definitely very handy so I do recommend this I've already repurchased it and then I even was lucky enough to get sent some more so I have a couple of backups I actually think I've almost used another one already so love and I would definitely use these again 100% so just look into like what color you want what kind of undertone price points you can get Bondi stands really easily as well it's like at chemists and stuff like that but I recommend both this one I also absolutely love so if you want to spend a little bit more I think this one's a little bit more this was beautiful and what I loved about this was it wore off really nicely this is the Saint Tropez watermelon scented tan the thing I loved about it is it wore off so well and the color was so beautiful and such a stunning like golden kind of tan um it lasted really well but I just love a good tan that wears off nice and evenly as well like the ones that you don't have to like scrub for days I used this up quite quick I pretty much was quite dedicated to it while I used this bottle whereas usually I have like six different fake tans open at once so that's definitely a good one. Next up let's talk about a body moisturizer. Oh my god this was like oh heavenly. I don't use our body, body moisturizers very often because I am terrible at committing and I was using my Dermalogica body oil like religiously and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon again and I'm so inconsistent when it comes to moisturizing my body. I need to really get on track with that. It was like my new year's resolution. <laughs> but anyways, I used up this. Oh my god. I left a little bit in here so I could smell it. Mmm, do you know what it smells like? It smells the same as Coke bottle lollies. If you live in New Zealand, you know Coke bottle lollies. It's the Origins Ginger Souffle. Mmm, so good and it performs well. Like it really moisturizes so good. The first time I ever tried this was when Judy and I did a swap and she um, sent me one of these and a body wash and anyway and then origins I'm on their PR list they sent this to me like ages later and I was just like this is like my favorite scent for like a body product I swear it's so delicious one of my favorites so 
if you're looking to try something new from Origins, oh, you need this one. It's so good. And while we're talking about body, let's talk about some of the body washes I use. I definitely used more than this as well. So once again, I've obviously just chucked them out without thinking or Hamish has. But um, we do have here the Lush. This is the Yognog. And this one's like from Christmas. I actually finished using it up a while ago. It was just like one of the little mini ones, but I just want to talk about it in case you want to pick up any this next Christmas. So I'm pretty sure this one comes out yearly. I'm assuming it's like eggnog. I don't know. I've never had that in my life. So it's inspired by pudding. Reminiscent of caramel and custard. Like, sorry, but does that not just sound like the best thing you've ever heard of? Mmm, yeah, it's good. It smells like Christmas, it smells like custard, it smells like caramel. Kind of like maybe a little bit of cinnamon or something in there, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I love Lush body washes. We use them all the time, like I'm constantly buying them. Sometimes I get them in PR as well and I always love using them. We're using the lavender one at the moment. So, so far, like literally almost everything's been wins. Okay, this one's not a win. This is just from the good old Countdown or New World or something like that. And I think we used this one up over quarantine from memory. This is the Ebolnia Body Company Milk and Honey with Soothing Almond Extract. It smells amazing. It works amazing. You know, everything about it is amazing. It comes in a big, huge bottle. But the problem with this was we used it so quick. Like, compared to those other ones I always talk about from Countdown that I usually have, the original source ones or whatever, I actually haven't used any of them this time. I'm pretty sure we have, though. I think I threw them away. This one, the packaging, like, there's, like, no kind of stopper. So it literally, like, you'll tip it gently into your spine and it's like, boom, a third of it comes out. I don't like the packaging. I feel like we used way too much product every single time, so it could have been so much more value for money. It was really cheap, so it's not the end of the world, but I just think it's nicer when, you know, things last a little bit longer. So probs won't get this brand again, even though it worked well, just the packaging sucks. Used up another of my Bonbon Factory Creme Brulees. I love this. This is so good, you guys. It always smells amazing. It's like a souffle texture. I don't know if you can tell from there. It's like whipped, kind of like whipped cream or something, but thicker. And it just smells divine. And they've got so many yum scents. And it just looks really cute. I love these. I think they're such good gifts. I always buy them for people for Christmas. And then the other body wash we have here today is this one by This Works and it's the Deep Sleep Shower Gel. So this one smelled like lavender and stuff like that. Um, lavender, vetivert and chamomile essential oils with skin softening at B5. What is B5? I don't even know. But um, this one I used at night time. Hamish isn't a fan of lavender. I am like for body washes at night. I just think lavender is so nice. It smells really calming. So if you love a good calming like body wash for nighttime showers just to unwind and relax. It's real nice. It actually lasted so bloody long. Like it took me forever to use this up. Um, I think just the packaging, the pump, you get 250 mils. Like it, yeah, you only need a little bit out and it just lasts for ages. So it was really good value for money, even though it's a little bit of a higher branded Wait, higher end brand? You know what I mean. I would definitely recommend this for something a little bit more luxurious and pampering. Um, and it worked really well. Could be a good gift. I'm pretty sure you can get this from Mecca. I think, I think. And then for a body scrub, we used up this one. This is the Dermalogica Thermofoliant Body Scrub. I've got freaking something. Every time I do these empties videos, I end up with like goo off the packaging. It's really gross. This is the Thermofoliant Body Scrub. And I really like that it's so gentle. It's not the kind of body scrub that you would use to like exfoliate off tan necessarily. It's more like a day-to-day, -day, like daily exfoliator. It's a little bit in here still. Can you see what I mean? Like it's super fine. It's very gel based, so it kind of cleans your skin, exfoliates gently, like it's real gentle. So I just enjoyed using this just like, you know, every second day or so. Just whipped it over my body just to give a really gentle exfoliation without like ruining my fake tan. So in that sense, like I liked it, but um, I actually have some more that I will use because I like it. I just don't know if it's the kind of thing I've got in my way to like repurchase. I guess normally I just use like a body wash and then just once a week or so use like a really intense body scrub that makes me raw. <laughs> I guess it just depends on like your preference. If you want something gentle, how many times can I say gentle? This has Indian bamboo stem in it and papain, which helps to promote your skin's natural cell renewal. renewal. Let's go on to the Daily Foliant from Dermalogica. This, on the other hand, 
I loved it. Wait, what did I just call it? It's called the Daily Super Foliant. Did I say that? I don't even know. This is a charcoal, like dark gray kind of charcoal powder. You just pour it out onto your hands and massage it with a little bit of water so it turns into like a creamy paste. You've probably seen me talking about it before. It's so good actually. I do have some more already and I need to start using it again because it really does help with congestion and I've not been using this for how long? I don't even know. Probably a few weeks. Maybe that's why my congestion's kind of shit right now. I don't know. But yes, I need to do that. I definitely love this one. I prefer this one to the microfoliant. I still like the micro one, but I just, I don't know. This one's really nice because it really makes my skin feel real clean, especially when it's all sweaty and gross from the gym. The cleanser, I've definitely used up more. Actually, it's almost empty. I've got a Dermalogica one as well. Like it's Almost empty, so you'll see it in the next empties video. But I also did use up my Danish skincare. I had this one in the shower. I often am using like two or three different cleansers at once because I have like one in my drawer, one in the shower, one in my travel bag. This one was in my shower for a bit. So was this one actually, but we'll talk about this first. Clean skin face wash. I love this. I've talked about it for years and years. It's definitely a holy grail. Like it just foams. It makes my skin feel super clean without feeling stripped and it also does get off any remnants of makeup and bits and pieces like that so i love this i love this whole brand like everything's good so i would definitely repurchase but at the moment i've got like a million other cleansers i'm trying out this one i also loved this is the okana skincare ph balancing foaming cleanser with apple juice this brand is completely natural it's new zealand made alcohol free fragrance free really gentle and I think this brand is perfect for two groups of people. I think it's perfect if you've got quite nice skin and you just want a gentle natural kind of solution to wash your face and keep it nice and clean and fresh. If you've got sensitive skin you know same diff. Or people that you know you might have like a tween that wants to start getting into skincare. I think it would be perfect for people just starting with skincare, teenagers, like whatever. Because um, it's so gentle and natural and it just does help make your skin feel clean and fresh without making it feel tight or stripped or anything like that. Definitely like that one and they've got heaps of good stuff like moisturizers, face sprays, like I've talked about them before. For me, I pretty much only used it, like it took me ages to use because I pretty much used it mostly just when my skin was like alright, like at the end of the day when I hadn't worn makeup that day. I wouldn't use it after the gym because I felt like I needed more, you know? It was perfect just to cleanse my skin and get it nice and fresh fit before bed. I actually feel like I used this quite a while ago but when I was cleaning out my bathroom I found this and it was like almost empty and then I almost finished it and then I stopped using it anyways. There's a little bit left but it's pretty much done. I've had it for ages but it's the Nuni Deep Cleanse Snowflake Jelly Cleansing Oil and it's a Korean brand. And I really liked this. The packaging's so nice. It comes with like a little spoon and it's like this jelly kind of clear like silicone kind of looking consistency. It smells really nice and light and fresh and it's just one of those products you just take it dry, put it on your dry face, massage it and then wet it and then remove your makeup and it worked perfectly. Like I really liked it um, and I used to only use stuff like that for ages. At the moment I'm using my Dermalogica pre-cleanse um, and I've also got this other one by gosh what brand is it? I'm sure it was in my last empties video like I had the cleanser it's an expensive brand from Mecca. But yeah, I still use stuff like this occasionally. Would I repurchase it? I don't see why not. Actually, heaps of these Korean brand cleansing, makeup removing items are really good. I've used so many Korean brands that I've really liked and they've always been quite a good price point too. I'm not sure about this one. I think this was sent to me. I mean, maybe not. I can't remember. This expired this year as well, so good timing. We have three face masks. First of all, I will 100% repurchase this. This is the Sebum Clearing Mask by Dermalogica. It's like a white clay mask and it makes your skin feel so clean and fresh. It's cooling as well, like it makes you feel like methyl kind of. Oil absorbing clays help to detoxify your skin as salicylic acid stimulates natural exfoliation to clear pore congestion. Soothe aggravation brought on by breakouts with cooling botanicals and help purify, refine, and eliminate excess oils for clearer skin. I need this ASAP because this is what I need right now when my skin's like this. See how I've got like all this congestion just here? Like this is what I loved to use when my skin had that. Maybe I've even got a backup in my drawer. Honestly, I've got so much Dermalogica backups because I just love Dermalogica. I would definitely recommend that if, you know, that little description sounds like a bit of you, like you need to try it. And it lasted ages, by the way. Like that one tube lasted 
ages. This one actually dried out, otherwise I'd keep using it, and I had another one already, so I was like, stuff, I'll just throw it away and start using the new one. But I love this mask. This is the Detox Mask by Timmy, and I love how gentle it is to remove. It's this beautiful green color. It's got green texture in it, and it's just really nice. It's like a clay mask just when you've got, like, breakouts or oily skin or, like, blackheads or whatever, and you just want to, like, kind of exfoliate the surface layer of your skin and just make yourself feel nice and pampered and smooth. Really nice stuff. Love it. I love the smell of it too. It smells so good. Matcha, lemongrass, and clay. And then the last one, and once again, I found this when I was emptying out my bathroom cupboard and just used the last little amount. I would 100% repurchase this too. Back in the day, we sold this out, guys, because I used to talk about it on my vlog channel and everyone went and bought it. But it is their purifying facial peel. It's a white peel off mask and it just makes your skin glow and look so smooth and perfect after you take it off. I can't even describe, it's really nice. This does have it bee venom in it, I believe. So if you're allergic, you know, don't even try it. It's really, really nice stuff. Definitely look it up um, and just read the description for yourself and read some reviews. But for me, I loved it. It's my favorite peel off mask, definitely. Okay, treatment. So I got rid of this one. I didn't even finish it. This is Sugar Rush, which I think is the same. Is it a Tarte company, I think? Um, but it just doesn't go on nicely on my skin. It's one of those ones you like dip in and remove it You don't shake it up. You just dip and apply and for some reason like it just never really like did much for me I don't know. So that's not for me. This one I loved. This is the circle version and this one's tinted I think they also have a clear one as well, which I have used in the past. This one's amazing because it's skin toned Well, I think it only comes in one which is usually a little bit too dark for me But still, you know, it looks a little bit nicer than me walking around with white dots all over my face. You just pop it on your breakouts and it helps to dry them out and treat them. Pimple Solution CC Powder Clearing Cover. Also, I used to just chuck it on and leave it to dry for like an hour in the morning. And then when I did my makeup, I'd just like pop my foundation straight on top and it worked so good. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a hack for me and I wanna buy some more of this. So I'm gonna take a photo of this too so I can go repurchase after this. Hopefully they still sell it. All right, next up we have serums, oils, Moisturizers. I've got a lot. First up, let's talk about this. I actually did a sponsorship for this brand on my Instagram, but you guys saw me using this a fair bit on my channel as well, I'm pretty sure. This is the Claire Hill range. It's anti-aging. They use this like special technology. If you want to go read up on it on the website, you can. But it's like anti-aging. The serum and the moisturizer, honestly, they lasted so well. And my skin was so beautiful and glowy with this. Like, I would definitely use it again. I just kept a little bit in here so you could see the texture of the serum. It's so lovely. Moisturizing and just made my skin, like I said, glow. Like, it's so nice. I love the packaging. It's very classy. So, definitely would recommend them. Their micellar water is really good too. I'm still using it. Like, I've still got heaps left. Also used up the Goody Co. Cleansing oil and hyaluronic acid. I loved the hyaluronic acid. I actually love heaps of stuff from this brand. I used heaps of it up ages ago as well. The hyaluronic acid was really nice just, you know, after cleansing, just before I pop on moisturizer and everything. I don't know. I really liked this stuff. You only need a tiny amount. Um, you only get like 30 mil in these, but it lasted actually a really long time because I was only using a small drop at once. But once again, it's another brand you could like go on their website and read up about and see if it would be right for you. But I definitely really liked it. It was very gentle. Um, really, really good for hydration and making my skin look plump and smooth and just glowing once again. Like a very good brand if you want that glass glowing skin. Pretty much like all of the stuff I love. Um, this I've raved about. I've already got a backup and I'm about to start the backup. This is the Active Clearing Age Bright Clearing Serum by Dermalogica. It's a salicylic acid, but it also um, helps to prevent visible signs of aging, which is perfect because... I'm starting to show visible sides of aging, okay? Got freaking fine lines popping up, which isn't very fun. But hey, this stuff's so good. I still break out all the time, and salicylic acid is really good just to gently exfoliate your skin to help unclog pores and everything like that, and help with acne. I really liked this stuff. I thought it was so good. So, yeah, that's a serum. And then this moisturizer I finished up. This is the Calm Water Gel Ultra Calming Range. I love this. I think I've already used up one of these as well. It's like a almost silicone-y kind of vibe. Let me see if I can like get a little oh yep it's kind of like a hybrid of like that silicone kind of feeling like watery kind of gel like texture and it melts into like literal like water on your skin it's so lightweight and it soaks in really nice and it's so hydrating 
and the scent mm, smells so good to me Di oh my god i could just read the packaging it says water gel moisturizer hydrates dry and sensitive skin and it says that it's got hyaluronic acid in it it's got apple fruit extract glycerin cactus pear extract for soothing like it's just really nice if you've got sensitive skin and you need moisture this is literally what you need i can't remember what happened but my skin was feeling a little bit sensitive a while ago i think it was when i was like picking my skin hard out and it was just like upset with me and I just felt like I needed to just like calm down my skin routine and just go bare minimum and yeah this was really lovely. Also this Sound Sleep Cocoon by Dermalogica. How much Dermalogica stuff do I use? Honestly. Holy crap. I'm already on to my next one of these. This is like a moisturizer that you chuck on at the very very end of your nighttime routine. It smells kind of like lavender or something and it just feels so soft. It's like a cocoon. Like it just wraps your face and it's just like lovely. It's very pampering. It's kind of like not necessarily like an essential. It's just like a luxury you know it says it transforms skin overnight by optimizing skin time skin uh, bleh, bleh, skin time nighttime skin recovery Persian silk tree extract reduces signs of skin fatigue and restores vitality while wuzuyu extract provides visibly radiant skin by the morning for hydrated skin it's got antioxidants vitamin c it's got french lavender essential oil to help promote a deep restful sleep anyway it's just literally like a spa like a spa moisturizer and like a little bottle and i love the packaging hopefully none comes sweaty out but it's just like this isn't that cute this is the one i used up most recently the ulla henriksen sea rush brightening gel cream i loved this it just was a nice like every day day to day um moisturizer i love the packaging that's what it looked like and smells incredible like that sugary ulla henriksen like sugary citrusy kind of scent and it was just really nice brightening just like a nice day-to-day -day kind of formula i used it at night too but i especially liked it during the day and it seemed to do a really good job and i also used up one of my perfect skin moisturizers by danish skincare which i have talked about a million times in the past you can go watch old empties videos <laughs> also finished another maracuja oil by Tarte. just ended my skincare routine with oil most nights i still do i'm on the go with like three different freaking oils right now i've got like a dermalogica one i've got a rosehip one i've got a another one of these like, I've got so many it's a problem but you know me I've always loved oils in my skincare routine and this is no exception I think it's one of Tarte's best products I love it I've gone through like heaps of these my cousin used it on her belly when she was pregnant with twins as well I seem to heaps of different oils and it lasts forever because you only use like the tiniest amount you know what I mean toothpaste <laughs> we use obviously a lot of toothpaste but we usually just go like Colgate or whatever from the supermarket but this one was a little bit different so I thought I'd show you this is the high smile night toothpaste and it's got like charcoal in it or something it's black and I loved it, but Hamish didn't. He thought it was weird. It's just like minty. I don't know if it really made much difference to my teeth coloring, but it's got activated charcoal in it, which is like a natural way to whiten your teeth apparently. But I like, I'd use it again. Pre-wash by Akis. I don't know, it's the primer. It's called Water Defense Pre-wash. Truth, wet hair is weak hair. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. It was really good, I think. I mean, you spray it in your hair, and then you wait a couple of minutes and then you wash your hair. So it's meant to just like protect your hair from while it's being washed and getting damaged and stuff. And I mean, I don't know. I feel like my hair's really nice. I don't know if it's because of this product though. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't think I'll repurchase it just because I'm not even sure if it made that much of a difference. I haven't used it in like a couple of months and I don't really notice the difference. Shampoo and conditioner. I've already purchased this myself. Actually, this is the one I purchased myself. But now I'm onto the freebies because they sponsored me. Which was so exciting because I love this stuff. This is the Function of Beauty. And I've got a link down below for a discount if you want to purchase it for yourself. But basically it's custom made hair care. You can choose everything you want for yourself, like your hair type, texture, your concerns, if you want like to, I don't know, protect against damage, heat damage, volume, if you want friggin nourishment, if, like just whatever. Like they've got a whole website where you just do a quick quiz. You can choose the colors, the scents, like everything is customizable. I love it and it lasts forever. It took me ages to use this up. Like you don't even understand ages. I bought it for Hamish, I bought it for my mum, I bought it for myself. Like I love it. What I used today actually when I washed my hair and then I let my hair naturally dry because I kind of like my natural hair texture. What do you guys think? Heat protectant spray actually. It did a sponsorship for this brand like years ago and then I like lost this and then I found it <laughs> when I cleaned out my bathroom and finished it off. It's really good. It's got a really good spray bottle and I think it works really well. It's always hard to tell with like thermal treatments, isn't it? It's like, is this doing anything or not? But I don't risk it. But I mean, my hair didn't sample anything when I used it, so 
thank you. It's like my biggest fear, just to start like curling my hair and then it's just like, bye. <laughs> my favorite thing ever, I would repurchase this a jillion times. I already have like literally repurchased this a million times. I think it's back out. I feel like it disappeared for a little bit, but I think they were just changing the packaging or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's amazing. Shush. This is the KMS Thermashade Quick Blow Dry Spray and it heat protects and it also makes your hair like dry so fast with the blow dryer. So quick. Oh, now it's dark. Classic. It's so good. It's kind of like a leave-in treatment, heat protectant, like everything all in one. So the last one I probably wouldn't repurchase because I just used this and it's got my heat protectant in there already. Reduces friction as well and it conditions your hair. Yeah, love it. Dry shampoo and oh my god, this is like the first time I've not had 80 different bottles of dry shampoo. I do think I've used up another one or maybe two, but way less than normal because I've been trying not to use so much of it in my hair. I don't know why. I'm just like surely it can't be good just to like load up my hair with dry shampoo all the time. But love the stuff. It's my favorite dry shampoo brand, Batiste. BB Thickening Dry Spin Finish by Bumble and Bumble. I bought this ages ago. I've already repurchased it. It's really good just to like spray through like your mid lengths and it gives you like this really like textured beautiful like thicker appearance hair. I especially liked this when I had shorter hair. It's just really nice for that like undone like not even trying kind of like bed head look. Do you know what I mean? Like it's really nice for that. And then last but not least I just finished this one. This is the Goldwell Curacil Control Defrizz Primer. It's basically just like a leave-in conditioner. You just chuck it in when your hair's damp before you dry it and everything. I love this brand. Goldwell Curacil. I've actually tried their shampoo and conditioner as well. Just little sample sized ones and it's really good. Like I just think this whole range is really good. So yeah I definitely repurchase this again and I get it from my hairdresser. Actually at the moment the one I'm using that I've got in my hair right now is this one. I'll just show you quickly. It's by Walla this time and I got it from a hairdresser as well, but it's the Illuminous Reflective Oil. Last but not least, we have a few makeup goodies. So I finished one of my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Bases because I love my lit glitters and this is what I use with it and it's so good and it sticks your glitter on forever. It's my favorite because you can use it on like eyeliner brushes to do like glitter eyeliner or you can press it all over your lid and like chuck heaps of glitter on. It's superior for me. Like, I think it's way superior to stick on glitters with than like my P. Louise base or my um, like glitter glue products, you know. Finished a Stila One Step Correct. Love this. I would repurchase it again. I love it so much. I've used it in tons of my videos. You can just search Shanique So Stila One Step Correct and like my vi I'm so sorry. Let me put this on silent. I'm so annoying. It'll come out with videos of me using it. It's like color correcting, moisturizing. It like evens out my skin tone. It just makes my skin look bomb. My Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. Love this. Also love my Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. Both of these were my holy grails, right? But now I use my P. Louise base. So I won't be repurchasing these, but they are great if you don't like the P. Louise one for whatever reason. Like I love these ones as well. Painterly Paint Pot, this just like dried out. Look at it, it was so old. But once again, another great eye base. You just want something to slap on with your finger or a blender brush. And they come in a million different colors and honestly, I love them. What's the one I love? Groundwork or something like that? Real pretty just all over the lid for like an eyeshadow look. Or a base. I had to show you this mini hangover primer I used up because it's really cute. Love this. I've still got a backup in my drawer that I haven't even opened because I've got so many primers so but it's a good one. Finished up the Hourglass Lip Oil. I liked it. I probably won't repurchase. It's very expensive and I do have other lip balms that I think are like just as good. So messy like it just... Ugh. And then I finished my little compact foundation. I love this and I've got more by MAC that are basically the exact same but these are the Studio Per Perfect Hydrating Cushion Compacts. Once again, you can search that on my channel or on YouTube or Google or whatever and just write Shannon so and I'll come up with my tutorials where I've used this. It's so, so beautiful. Obsessed. Like when I use this, so many of you guys were so upset because you couldn't find it. But yeah, just the cushion foundations by MAC in general. Like I've got a few more in my drawer. I don't know if they're the exact same line or just similar, but they all look bomb. Like every single, I've never tried a MAC cushion foundation. Like the liquid ones that I haven't liked. Like I love them. Oh my God, I was just showing my thumbnail and I forgot this one. Look, I used to talk about this ages ago. This is a brush cleaner. It's instant. It's blue. You just dip your brush in and wipe it off on a towel and it instantly cleans your makeup brushes. It's amazing. It's pretty expensive and the shipping is so expensive to New Zealand, but it's great. And I like to use it in between deep washes with my brush soap, just when I need like quick cleaned brushes. It's not something I would rely on, but it's just good in between. It kills bacteria and like makes it usable again in seconds because it just dries so quick. So love it. Whew, that was a lot of empties. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Let me know 
know what is the last product you used up and let me know a review of it too. I will talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.